Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the winning, welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. Today, we are back with another episode of Blueprint Review, this is episode 48, 47, 47, yeah, 47. And today we are using the new Gallantry Blueprint for the MAC-10, which is the one of the DLC weapons for Season season one which you can see right here and it's texture glitched out so i'm you're not gonna get a very good look at it right now but hopefully that texture glitch, glitch goes away and i will show you guys <coughs> pardon me a better look at it here in a little bit but hopefully we can do well wow recoil much now i know that season now I know that season one is pretty much over, and that's exactly why I'm covering the last blueprints at the end of the season, because I wanted to make sure that I use these blueprints and talk to you guys about whether or not they are worth it. So hopefully we can do well. The Mac 10 is a weapon that has absolutely taken over Warzone. And so that's, you know, kind of a big deal. But this is my first time ever using this blueprint. I actually just I bought the rest of the tiers today because I wanted to I wanted to get all the tears done so I could make this video for you guys so in my next blueprint review video which will be on Monday I will show you guys the final grows of blueprint which should be pretty awesome nice two guys down I gotta be really careful Nice, good job. Okay. I gotta play this smart. I don't know if that was smart. Uh, probably not. That probably wasn't very smart to do. But, you know what? It's all good. It's all good somehow. There's one. Oh, gosh. This thing has so much recoil. Holy crap, man. Nice! Three people down. Nice, there's a fourth. Okay. Perfect. A nice little fury kill there. Don't look at me. Okay, nice. Alright, there's a guy in here as well. I want to get close so I can guarantee myself this kill. No! Gosh darn it, man. I don't I don't like this I don't like the The heck man. I just beamed that guy from across the map with this thing. Let's get inside. Darn it. There, there was a lot of people there. Holy crap. Okay. Hello. There's one. There we go. There might be more. Okay, I'm not gonna challenge that. That's pointless. I've got a Mac 10. This is the best possible spot for me to be in. Gosh darn it, this guy's annoying. He's killed me like way too much. Real Madrid. All right, it's all good though. Because I've gotten a little bit... I've gotten a little bit of revenge on him. God, the recoil is nuts on this blueprint. Holy crap. I'm using this thing exactly how it is. Because it has five attachments. So this is exactly what it's like. A lot of you guys probably already have this blueprint. So... And you probably already changed it to how it's supposed to be. But... Ooh, nice. I love the VSAT. Go ahead and heal here. Run! No! Shot in the back! Dang it, man! The spawns! The spawns... The spawns in Call of Duty are not the best. And they've never really been the best. For a long, long time. The last game that had good spawns... Was probably Black Ops 2, in all honesty. Spawns are not good. Nice. Alright, 
Let me go ahead and push forward here. And, alright, now I should be able to get behind this guy over here. Because... Nice, let's go. Two guys down. Alright. There's somebody here, I think. Nope. Okay, I can hear somebody to my right. Nice, there's the war machine. Alright, let's go in. Alright, where's everyone at? Huh? There we go. There we go. It was missing a little bit, but we got him. Nice try, buddy. I probably wouldn't have recommended pushing me there. Probably would have recommended staying on that head glitch, but hey. I am not going to complain. Okay. What am I doing? Jeez, I apologize. That is That was a... Horrendous war machine usage. Holy crap, man. Alright, I have to go in. I'm going in. Get inside. Nice. You enjoying your corner? I hope you are. I hope you are. 30 and 11? Not too bad. Not too bad. Can I get three kills, though? Probably not, because there's two tags. Yep, game over. Alright, 30 and 11. Not too bad here with this blueprint which i've never used before but yeah that's not a bad score hopefully you guys enjoyed that gameplay with the new gallon tree blueprint for the mac 10 i think the mac 10 will always probably be one of the better smgs in the game but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay i'll see you guys all in two seconds to go ahead and review the blueprint all right guys so hello and welcome into the lobby we are taking a look at the mac 10 gallon tree blueprint which is at tier 95 and we're gonna go ahead and talk about the aesthetic or the attachments and then we'll talk about all that normal stuff that we tend to talk about so starting off here with the attachments we have ourselves the mill stop reflex sight which is pretty self-explanatory we have ourselves the bruiser grip which improves movement speed sprinting movement speed shooting movement speed and aim walking movement speed we have ourselves the standag 53 round drum then we have ourselves the sasr jungle grip and then last but not least we have ourselves the wire stock so now we have all the attachments out of the way we can go ahead and jump into the Review. So starting off here with the aesthetic. The aesthetic is amazing. I absolutely love how this blueprint looks. It looks super, super, super cool. I mean, the the gold and the just the engravings on it. It just looks awesome, especially with the new little weapon charm there. It looks absolutely amazing, and the the aesthetic is really, really good. Now jumping into the practicality, this is where this this review is going to get a little bit lower. Unfortunately, the practicality of this blueprint itself is really not the best. And the reason for that is that there are zero recoil managing attachments for this blueprint. And that, for a weapon like this, is a massive, massive deal. The MAC-10 is a great SMG from close range to point blank range. But once you get to m medium range to a little bit longer than that, the gun is horrendous without recoil managing attachments there are zero on this web on this blueprint i made sure i looked through it and it's just not very good it's not very practical unfortunately the gameplay that you saw was lucky i tried to get something better after that gameplay i played about four or five games after that and i got horrible scores did not do very well at all so as far as practical wise it's really not that good however on the bright side here's what can happen if i take off that optic i put on the best grip in the game and then I put on the, you know, I'll, I'll leave that magazine on there. And then I put on, let's just say I put on the effective damage range barrel. And then I put on a muzzle that helps the weapon out as well. Get rid of the SASR jungle. Yeah, get, get rid of, oh, I get, got rid of the magazine. Let's put that magazine back on. Get rid of the wrap or the grip. And then go ahead and put on another really great attachment for the weapon. Or, let's see, which, which? magazine do we have here we had what the okay come on here we go there we go and then i put on yeah we'll just leave it like that boom now we changed the aesthetic quite a lot for to where you can't see all of the aesthetic stuff but let's just say that we're using this in game you're not going to really notice the grip very much or you're going to see the barrel and and the muzzle that i put on there but for the most part 
the aesthetic is still going to be there. And that, in my opinion, is the biggest deal of all because, you know what, the, you, you'll see most of the aesthetic. The great thing about this game that I really, really like is the barrels in this game aren't fully the aesthetic of the weapon, if that makes any sense at all. Like, what, what I mean by that is when you put, for example, if I just take this barrel off, the the barrel's not going to be mu much different. Back in Modern Warfare 2019, when you would put a, bar or a barrel or a muzzle attachment on your weapon, it would change the weapon dr drastically. So if I put, just for example, that is such a weird glitch, I do apologize for that. If I put on this barrel, on this weapon, back in Modern Warfare 2019, that barrel attachment would change the entire aesthetic of the weapon besides maybe just a little bit. In Black Ops Cold War though, it doesn't change it that much and in in-game, you'll probably see the aesthetic a lot more and it's going to look really, really cool. I mean, you, we can keep on the wire stock if we want to to make it look really, really nice still. So again, practicality wise, not the most practical using it in its own right, but once you put on attachments like this and some better attachments, it's, it's a great weapon. I love the MAC-10. It's one of my favorite SMGs in the entire game. I knew it was going to be a fast fire rate, fast killing weapon and it sure is and it's a great overall gun now last but not least is this blueprint worth using it is tier 95 in the battle pass which means you have to grind the crap out of this battle pass i mean today i started out at tier 83 and i bought the rest because i wanted to do this video i mean it is ba double battle battle pass weekend right now so honestly where i was now if i didn't want to make these videos i didn't need to make these videos I, I, then i probably would have just grinded the battle pass to get up to this blueprint but because I didn't want to do that, and I wanted to make this video here today and on Monday, I decided to just buy the rest of the tiers. So it's very, very high, and aesthetic-wise, it's worth using for sure because it looks awesome, but practical-wise, it's just not that good. So in all honesty, is it worth using? Sort of. Once you make it a better weapon with lower recoil and all that kind of stuff, then yes, for sure. But for the most part, I would definitely recommend staying away from this blueprint using it just in its own right but it still looks really really cool as you can see it still looks awesome even though i've added some great attachments to it so in all reality i would definitely recommend using it if as long as you change the attachments a little bit but again this is a video talking about just the blueprint in its own right not changing any of the attachments at all and in that respect definitely don't recommend using this blueprint so that is going to do it for this video if i was going to give this wet blueprint a final rating with just the blueprint itself i would be giving it probably a 6 out of 10 which i hate to do but it's just not very good from, you know, on most of the maps in this game, it's just not very good with the standard blueprint itself. But once you put on better attachments, it becomes a, a very, very good weapon and a very, very worthwhile blueprint. But anyway, guys, I just want to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it on Monday, which is going to be my final blueprint review video of season one. I will be using the brand new, I will be using the Groza final blueprint, which is up to tier 100, which should be a lot of fun as well. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to check out any of my other previous blueprint review videos, they will all be linked down below within the playlist in the description, as well as my previous one will be at the end of the video. I'll see you guys all on another Black Ops Cold War video very, very soon.